but getting back to this game that I never left. Anytime where you show love to the game or just love to me, period, I appreciate that. I want to appreciate you guys, man, for always calling in, <clears throat> not sitting over there wasting time. You know, man, you call in, man. You give your statements, man. You know, matter of fact, one of my mods, y'all keep posting that number until Helena get up in here. You know what I mean? Keep posting that 504 line. That 504 line, that's the number. Okay, hello? Okay, hello? Okay. Hey, sir, how you doing? I'm doing better, brother. Blessings to you. Hello? Yes, can you hear me, bro? Hello? I was trying to say thank you for spreading the word. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate you for being thankful for the word being spread. I ain't nobody, but, you know... I appreciate you for taking time to hear the word. And let me make this known to all of the newcomers that's at the channel. I'm not a minister. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a man of God. I'm not a prophet. You know, uh, in all actuality, I ain't shit. I'm just a nobody that's endeavoring to tell everybody about something that can uh, help them get everything. Bro, you got to turn that background down. Turn the background down, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? But no, I'm not I'm not anybody special. Uh, I'm just a YouTuber. Uh, even when you hear me speak, you know, about urban things, I'm just a YouTuber, man. I'm the greatest square that ever lived. <clears throat> I love Big Bro. Rest in peace, bro. What'd you say, bro? channel for almost two months now and it's on point and thank you uh i appreciate you and thank you yes sir have a good evening i'm gonna continue to watch the show all right bro blessings to you one those of you that had never called before call hello Hello. Blessings to you and good fortune to you as well. I have a question I want to get your insight on. With, with the with the Me Too movement and full effect, men today are being held to traditional ways and women have evolved to non traditional ways pertaining to relationships and connections between both genders. So the pain of rejection and down talk from women to men are inter men are being having to internalize it and suffering in silence. What do you think men need to do to change these results and treatment? Oh, 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 hold on, bro. Um, to the brother, let me let me say this because that was to my last one. He said, "Correct me if I'm wrong, <clears throat> but Christians supposed to be Christ-like, follow in the footsteps of Christ, and he always has a reference to his father." And he said, we shall follow uh, his father's will. Let me say this. Um, just because it, he says, follow his father's will, and we're supposed to follow, uh, you know, the footsteps of Christ and everything like that. Um, I just want you to know this. Just because he said that, that still wouldn't... <laughs> solidify anything that still wouldn't give you uh scriptural justification to why you follow the, de uh, the denomination of christianity there is nowhere in your king james version your amplified your uh niv uh where it says anything of that you should be a christian it never uh man gave you that mandate that's something that man gave you but yahshua never gave you that okay all of this, he never, he never said anything. I might say a statement and somebody else might take my statement and they put a name on it and they said the sinful is the founder of this. And in all actuality, I'm not the founder of that. I was just saying something right and you put a name on it and you put your own little uh, instructions 
and uh, manual over it, but I don't have nothing to do with that. You just took my statements and ran away with it and put a title over it. But how is he the founder of something that he never spoke about? To all of the Christians that's watching, I want you to uh, logically think about that. How is so-called Jesus Christ, I say Yahshua, but how is Jesus Christ the founder of something that he has never spoke about? I'm an idiot. You guys got college education. Y'all got all of that. I didn't even finish college. I only did two years. All of these brainiacs in the comment section come up with some logical thinking. Why did he never, he never, brother, see, he's already losing. He's quoting from Colossians and all of that. No, from Matthew to John, which is classified as the gospel, why is it that he never spoke about Christianity? That's crazy. That's like calling me a pimp and you never heard me speak about pimping or never seen me do any pimping. Why do you call me a pimp? That's crazy. Uh, but to answer your question, brother, I, uh, uh, from what I remember, um, I think that, you know, I mean, as far as that Me Too movement, first of all, you know, and this ain't no disrespect, but in all due respect, you know, I mean, as, as the one comedian said, I have no respect, uh, f that Me Too movement, first of all. And as far as, because, uh, cause, and, and, and at first, you know, how could you say f the Me Too movement, sin? Because they're taking it and they're trying to take advantage of the black man. You know what I mean? Like, it, uh, uh, the Me Too movement, at first, it pre presented itself as if it was going to be beneficial to women. But all I'm seeing is, you know what I mean, black men getting uh, tore up and destroyed and all of that shit. I don't agree with that. Any movement that uh, is destructive towards the black men. That, you know what I mean, that ain't got nothing to do with God. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Me Too movement. Sound like a bunch of sorry ass coming forth on one accord to lie on the black man. And I'm not saying everybody lying, but it's going to be a, a plethora or legions of sorry ass handsome bitches coming on one accord, test the lying and minimizing the greatness and legacy of a black man. I ain't got no time for that bullshit. What black men need to do, I don't remember your question all the way, but what you motherfuckers need to do is stop all this uh discord and we need to come on one accord against all these old, uh ass movements such as the Me Too movement and all that bullshit so the uh, legacies of black men won't be tarnished and diminished and abolished. We need to come together. That's what need to happen. I don't remember. And I was thinking. You I said what? Thinking, uh, not, excuse me. No, I was thinking was it has to be some type of man's coalition to uplift it um, and strengthen our, us mentally due to what is not being able to talk openly. We're internalizing and suffering in silence. So then that way they're getting away with anything that they want to get away with. We can't even balance out what they're doing since we're stuck in traditional ways from uh, horse and chariot uh, opening doors and all these different things. And they, they're into non-traditional ways. So they got us working in the yard, doing doing yard work and bringing home dead flowers. And then they don't have to go do nothing. But we're, we're uh, got the hard, hard boots on. So to do this, I'm listen, just listen, do. listen. Society and Christianity has trained you to be suckers. Society and religiosity has basically trained you to be tricks, suckers, and marks. That's why the game, that's why the prophets, that's why the max and the pimps of old prophesied at my birth. And that's why Philip Brandon Gilmore, simple the masterpiece, mouthpiece pimp, is here to bless you with this game so you will not longer be suckers no more you sitting over there waiting on the second coming and all of that no this is the first coming of this game i'm here to tell you that you understand me all of the pimps before them like like gorgeous drink and freeze all of them them is john the baptist but you understand me the game is here a greater is here i have come for you to stop sucking toes and making deals with hoes, working three, four jobs, giving paychecks to <laughs> that ain't even checking for you. The game is here. I am here. I am here. <laughs> Say that then. Say that then. I'm going to uh, pause it right there. Uh, 
Linda underscore network on Instagram. Thanks for taking taking your time and letting me talk. All right, bro. Call in at any time. I like when new callers call in. I love my old callers, but. I don't want my uh, new callers to give up. I want all my new callers to call in. I like new energy, and I like people to bring up, you know, topics outside of the game, but still we bring in game and things that ain't got nothing to do even with the game, and I love that. Blessings to you. I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.